Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky Bex, whatever you guys like to call me, and welcome to my Declutter Series 2021. Now, I was planning to do these videos later on in the year, like I did last year, but as I was transferring my makeup from one room to another, I literally looked at all the makeup and said to myself, there's so much makeup here, I'm not even gonna wear anymore. I'm not even reaching for anymore and majority of it is discontinued so there's no point in keeping it and I have to be careful especially with my eye area my eyes are so sensitive I actually have an eye condition I'll pop it on screen here of what I have so with eyeliners and oh especially mascaras I have to be extremely careful I'm not going to be sadly donating any of the makeup or giving it away or anything to family or giveaways as such because the makeup's so so old and I just don't feel comfortable and especially with the current situation the places that used to take makeup aren't really taking makeup at the moment which I completely understand so I feel like this year this year I want to be so cutthroat with my makeup I literally just want to get rid of it and just say to myself if I'm not going to use it or if it's really, really expired, it has got to go. So I'm getting rid of the old and in with the new. So get yourself comfortable, like myself, I'm in my pajamas and my cozy socks. Grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, and let's get on with the series. Hello guys, so my next declutter is bronzers. I have a few bronzers here. I'm sorry you can't see all of them on screen, but I will show you all of them. So this pile here is what I'm going to be keeping and this pile is what I'm not going to be keeping. So I'll show you the pile quickly, what I'm not going to be keeping. So I'm going to start with this one here. This one is the Technic Get Gorgeous Bronzer. Well, it's a highlighting powder, but I use it as a bronzer. Um, absolutely beautiful, don't reach for it, so this one can go. This one here is the Collection Contour Kit Highlight and Sculpt. Really pretty highlight, but the bronzer's a bit too dark for me I know it's meant to be a contour but yeah I just don't really don't really reach for it so this one can go the Miss Beauty contour blush and highlight kit um, it's not very accessible to get this you can get this on the Too True website it's very on and off sometimes it's there sometimes it's not and like I said it's, it's not very easy to get this and I don't really use it so it can go now the max factor cream bronze i absolutely love this i think it's such a beautiful bronze um it's a bit too dark for me i want to get the lighter shade of this because this is in the shade 10 bronze and it's very very old so yeah it can just go now this little contour kit i got this from the super drug advent calendar i did use the middle shade but i still found it was so dark for me even though it does say a contour powder but i wish this middle shade was a little bit lighter and then you've got this shade. Beautiful for deeper skin, don't get me wrong, but I just I just won't be using this again. So this one can go. The B um, Sculpt and Highlight Kit. Oh, you can't see because the reflection. There we go. Um, yeah, don't really reach for this. Not particularly my favorite bronze, so yeah, that one can go. The Revolution Imagination Kit. This one is the Highlight to the Moon Palette. Um, it was really nice at first, but like I said, yeah, I just don't really reach for it. I'm really sorry, Imagination. I, I just don't really reach your palette. I I'm really sorry, but yeah, it's going to have to go. The Revolution Instant Sculpt Contouring Palette. It's like a very subtle, sorry, this one is a very highlighty powder. And then you have the blusher, bronzer and contour. Sorry, I don't know which one I'm pointing to. But yeah, you have a bronzer, a contour, a blusher and a highlighter. Um, yeah, don't really reach for this. Yeah, no, that one can go. This one is the Goddess Rocks, Luxury Bronzing Rocks. These are a little bit too dark for me. I did try these again a few times, but yeah, they're just too dark for me as a bronze. They're really, really dark. I can't even make it into a contour because they are quite dark. These will be really nice for deeper skin. And not to mention the packaging. It's beautiful, but it's just a bit awkward. So yeah, that one can go. This, I loved this product. This one right here. This one was the Remel Insta Sculpt Insta Duo Contour Stick in Light. This was meant to be a dupe for the, um, what was it? The KKW um, Contour Stick. You know, the very expensive one. 
I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the brand wrong. But yeah, you know, you, you guys see what I mean, which dupe it is anyway. Yeah, I absolutely love this. I love this so, so much. But you can't buy it anymore and I just don't reach for it. So yeah, it can go. The Collection Gl Gorgeous Glow Jelly Bronze. I used this in a testing video because I tested the highlighter version of this as well. Loved it in the first video. And then when I tried it again another few times, it just started taking my foundation off and then it just sort of yeah it just didn't work as great as the first time so I don't quite understand what I'm doing wrong I tried all different techniques and it just didn't stop working for me which is such a shame so yep that one can go Miss Sporty the Mission Sculpting Contour and Highlight Kit so I'll just get a bit closer so you guys can see yeah this one right here um, Miss Sporty's not very accessible anymore you can't really buy it in the UK which is such a shame Superdrug used to sell this brand a long time ago and it was so so good I wish they stuck, didn't stop selling Miss Sporty because Miss Sporty was brilliant. I loved Miss Sporty. But you can't really get it anymore. So, yeah, that's going to have to go. And last but certainly not least, this breaks my heart to get rid of this. This is the Kiko Perfecting Bronzer in Light to Medium. It's got a beautiful rose scent to it. So you have a brightening powder in the middle and then you've got the bronzer. This is from their Rebella Romantic collection from many, many years ago. I just don't reach for this anymore. It's such a shame and I think it goes a little bit patchy on me. But not to mention I've got another Kiko bronzer I prefer. So I think it's finally time I can say goodbye. And you can't buy this anymore anyway. So okay, this pile here is what I'm keeping. So I'll quickly show you this. This is the Tanya Blur Sweet Cheeks face palette. I know you can't buy this anymore, but I wear this for my own leisure because that bronzer right there is probably my favourite bronzer of all time. I know it's discontinued, I know you can't buy it anymore, but uh, I just absolutely love this bronzer. I absolutely love it. I just cannot depart from it. I love it, so I, I can't get rid of it. I just cannot, just cannot, absolutely not. This one here, this is the I Heart Bronze and Glow Kit. They, I believe they still make this. Let me just bring it closer. It's beautiful. Like, you have a beautiful highlighting powder and then you've got a bronzer there as well. The highlighter is stunning. I absolutely love this highlighter. Oh, it's so blinding. It's so pretty. Gonna have to keep that. You can still get it as well, so it's really, really nice. Oh, I love it so much. This one here. This one is the Mimi Blush Me, but even though it's more of a bronzer shade, now it looks scarily dark, but when I put this on my face, it actually turns out really light. I like this bronzer. Well, it's, it claims it's a blush, but it's a bronzer. I like it, so I'm keeping that. My contour sticks here, this is by B. This is the Light and Sculpt Contour Kit in the shade Light. Um, <laughs> funny story with these, I thought I got rid of this in my Declutter series last year, so I panicked, went and bought another one, and it turns out I found it. It was in a makeup bag all this time. So I've now got two of them. So I'm keeping them. They're really, really good. Revolution Contour and Glow Highlighting Kit. This was like a free gift with purchase like a long time ago. Uh, I can't really depart from this because this is really, really nice. I know you can't get it anymore, but I actually am a fan of it. I love the bronzer. I've actually nearly hit pan on the bronzer as well. So I'm keeping that. Absolutely keeping it. Oh, and speaking of the Kiko bronzer, this is the one I absolutely love and swear by. This one's the Ocean Field bronzer in Warm Honey. I know it's limited edition, but they bring it back in so many collections. So if you're like, oh no, I didn't grab it, you will guarantee you'll get it in the next collection because they always bring it back. I don't know why they don't make it permanent. It's amazing. It looks like a planet and it smells like chocolate. It's absolutely amazing. Love this bronzer. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Cannot get rid of it. Cannot get rid of it. Now this I haven't used in ages, the MUA Bronze Shimmering Bronze Powder, because as you can see, um, it's a shimmery bronzer, I used this once and loved it and then I forgot all about it, so I'm going to start reaching for this a bit more, so I'm keeping that, keeping that. Uh, this one is the, uh, the Body Shop Bronzer, in, it's a bronze shade in Warm Glow, number two, it's a beautiful subtle bronzer, I love this, really pretty, going to be keeping that one. Oh, I don't understand why I'm going to keep it because I'm showing you the ones I'm keeping. So I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying it. If it comes automatic. Anyway, the L'Oreal Back to Bronze Powder. There you go, you guys can see. This one here, beautiful bronzer. Really like it. Like this bronzer, I'm keeping that. And this, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. The 
Tanya Blur Glow to Coca collection. I've hit pan on the bronzer from that other kit as well. It's exactly the same one, so I'm keeping that. Even though this packaging is very chunky, I, I love that bronzer. I, I've just, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to keep it. i just got to keep it. It's my favourite bronzer. That and the Kiko one. It's my favourite bronzer. Love it. Right, the Gosh Cosmetics... <laughs> I'm getting too eager now, Rebecca. Too eager. This is the Gosh Cosmetics Contour and Strobe Kit. So you get like a blush, a highlighter, a bronze, and a contour. I love this. It, the bronzer's not too overpigmented, but that's why I like it, because you can build it up. And the same with the contour. I love it for that reason, so I'm keeping that. The Collection Bronze and Glow Shimmering Light Bronzing Powder. Sorry, you can't see because of my ring lights. Beautiful. Love this bronzer. Super affordable keeping that this is the natural collection natural glow bronzer in the shade golden glow this bronzer pretty much goes back to when i back to the very first video on my youtube channel when i bought this so this is pretty much three years old but i can't depart from it because i really like this bronzer it's a really nice bronzer so that can stay the makeup gallery good to grow bronze shimmer this is in shimmer light three amazing bronzer and it's super affordable as well it's only a pound i really like this bronzer so i'm keeping that one they also have a matte version as well if you don't like shimmer this is the i heart makeup summer of love triple bait bronzer i do they still make this i'm not entirely sure because this one before the kiko one before i purchased that kiko one and that tiny blur one this was my favorite highlighter highlighter this was my favorite bronzer at the very very beginning so this was the first bronzer i sort of kind of fell in love with so i'm hoping they still make it because this is a great bronzer i've got to keep it just got to keep it and this as well this is the b liquid blush in coral now i know you guys are thinking this is a blush rebecca but on my skin tone it comes out like a really nice bronzy color and it's beautiful as a bronzer. Deeper skin definitely will work as a blush, but for me, it works as a bronze. I love it for that reason. That's why I wanted to keep it. The Hula, the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Old classic, great bronzer. Keeping that, just keeping it. The Rimmel Kit. This is a highlighting contour and blush kit. You guys can see. So you get a bronzer, a highlighter and a blush. I love it. Great from the go. The bronzer is really, really nice. And the highlighter and the blush are really good, actually. So I'm keeping that. Keeping that one. Another kit as well. This is by Revolution. This is the Patrika Bright. Patrika Bright. I think I'm saying her name right. Patrika Bright uh, palette. This is the bronzer, blush and highlighting palette in the shade Moonlight Glow. Ooh. Really like this. Love the bronzer. Love the highlighter. And I love the blusher really nice really like it and you can still get it as well so i'm definitely going to be keeping that one the revolution not well, revolution the revelon skin light prismatic bronzer great bronzer this is i love this bronzer it's in the shade 115 sun kissed beam gotta keep this i mean i love the pattern great bronzer nice and glowy not too shimmery amazing keeping that the Nip and Fab Travel Palette. It's got a bronzer, a blusher, and a highlighter in it. I really, really like this. I really like the bronzer in it. It's not too pigmented. That's why I really, really like it. Like the blush, like the highlighter. So, keeping that one. This one is the Mimi Me, the Ultimate Complete Contour and Highlighting Kit. So it's basically it's full of creams. And I really, really like cream products. I'll bring it close as you can see. But I really, really love cream, cream products. I think these are really, really nice. So I'm keeping that. I really, really like that. The Lottie London Time, the Lottie London Tan Time Bronzer. This one's in the shade Light to Medium. I like the little stars on it. I'm not entirely sure if you can still get this or not, but I really like it. It's a very pigmented bronzer, but you only need the tiniest little bit and it blends out really nicely. So I'm keeping that one. The Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dolce De Luce, an old YouTube classic this is. I was going to keep it, but it arrived to me broken when I got this. And as time got and as time got on, it started to get even worse. It's starting to break even more. Oh my god. 
yeah, yeah I'll just I'll just won't tilt it for you guys but you can see it's starting to get worse it's starting to break 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 and I don't really reach for it so I think this is going straight in the not keeping pile because I, I think it's starting to get worse and worse and worse and eventually I'm going to open it and it's all going to fall apart and I'm like oh no I could restore it but I've got so many of bronzer so I don't need to restore it and last but not least we have the Rimmel natural bronze in the shade sun bronze this is so so old I remember wearing this a long time ago and I couldn't remember what I thought of it so I really need to wear this again and see what I think of it so yep I'm going to be keeping that okay so this is the pile I'm going to be keeping and this is not what and this is what I'm not going to be keeping so that's my bronzers all sorted I hope you guys are enjoying my Takata series I'm sorry that the videos aren't as long as they were last time because I felt like those videos went on a little bit too long so I wanted to keep them short and sweet Hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified by all my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you like. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.